I'm Lou Farrow. I'm the president of Professional Cars International. We're the largest club in the country of people who collect the vintage ambulances, hearses, limousine, what we call professional cars. Corp C. Ryan has one of our nicest hearses, a 59 Miller Meteor. That's part of our stable of cars. So today we're in downtown Burbank for the Burbank Classic. We're at Olive in San Fernando right now with my 57 GMC Suburban Ambulance. A little warm out here, but that hasn't dampened the spirits of everybody who's come out. The place is packed, and we'll be going till 9 o'clock tonight. So what I have right here is one of my nine ambulances that I own. This is a 1957 GMC Suburban Ambulance that was placed in the service by the Los Angeles City Fire Department back in 1957. There were four ambulances that were placed in service. This is the only one that survives, and it's completely restored back to the day it was brand new. So when you look at this ambulance, you're talking about technology that's now 60 years old. This was back in the days of you call, we haul, and that's all. There was no medical care done other than maybe give you a little oxygen, bandage some bleeding, but other than that, it was a fast ride to the hospital, and hope you made it. So the history of all these cars kind of reminds me of when I first became a paramedic some 40 years ago and one of my most memorable calls. My partner and I responded to a high-rise condo building in Glendale. We were to pronounce a man that put a shotgun in his mouth and killed himself. So we walked into his apartment. He was sitting in a chair. I walked up, took the cardiac monitor, put on the patches to see if he had a cardiac rhythm and the man tried to talk to me. He put the rifle in his mouth. Just as he went to pull the trigger, he kind of did one of those in anticipation of the gun going off. And he pulled it out just far enough that it took from there up off. It missed everything vital, his brain, everything else. All they could do for him at the hospital was to get a big flap of skin from another part of his body and just put it over his face. Had no eyes, no nose, had two holes in his face so he could breathe. Uh, he was fed through a tube through his stomach, just a big flap of skin. I guess his family could be funny and draw eyes and stuff, but that would kind of be cruel. I don't know if you'd want to do that. <laughs> He committed suicide six months later, but with drugs. Didn't try shooting himself again, he couldn't find a gun. <laughs> Another memorable story from the annals of paramedic Lufa. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>